Hey everybody, welcome back to X4 Foundations. Today we're going to give a little status update on the Universe at War playthrough. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. If you don't know, the Universe at War game start is a quick little mod I made. Nothing amazing, but all the major powers start at war with each other with the, the highest aggression setting. And you start out as a uh, just kind of independent trader in Argon Prime. I like Argon Prime. It's an easy place to start. Everything's there that you need to get started pretty much. So I, I like starting there. But after that, it's up to you. You can, you know, side with whatever faction you want. However, they're all at war with each other, and that's not going to change. It's been, uh, this, this game's, I think I'm about 11 hours in. Most of the time has been getting kind of started up, right? So if we look at my property, I've got a bunch of drills, a bunch of mercuries, bringing in decent, decent amounts of credits so far. I also have my first station that I started building. And a little aside here, I turned on the faction colors, which is new in beta patch four and you can see these are HOP ships that are, are coming to trade with my station and there's an the Anagon ship it's a lot easier to see with the colors the interesting part about this is they're at HOP are at war with the Argon Argon so oftentimes you'll see the uh, Argon fleet engage down here and attack my customers which is a problem right Especially, well, it's a problem when they're coming to me. Not so much a problem after they already spent their money. I don't really care. <coughs> Excuse me. But if they're having a hard time getting to me, you know, that's going to be a problem. So one of the next things we're going to do in this game is build some trade depots, trade stations, which has been requested on the channel before. So expect that content very soon. Because we need to uh, better service our customers. The station itself, uh, nothing fancy yet. If we let's look at the uh, logical overview, we are doing graphene, refined metals, and silicon wafers using the graphene and refined metals to make hull parts. The hull part state part is currently under construction. And silicon wafers, we're eventually going to do smart chips because in this scenario, the Xenon have decided to go pretty hard against Victor's Choice. And the, the smart chip station used to be right here for Ar the Argon smart chips station. So they took that out. And I want to get another source of uh, smart chips. So I'm building it myself. Getting smart chips isn't the easiest thing. You can obviously steal it with the EMP. <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry. I got this cold over the, uh, over my little vacation. Smart, smart chips. You can either get by EMP or you can buy from the Anagon, but you need plus 20 rep, which I'm, I'm getting close to. So we're going to look at that. For some reason, this freighter decided to run the blockade and is getting destroyed. I do like the new capital ship outlines, though, when they're not spinning, that is. So that's pretty cool. I don't know where the Argon fleet went. Also under threat is Silent Witness. I have seen... They have started to launch some attacks in here but not too many you can see the main Havict the main xenon fleet is sitting in Havictus choice and a bunch of ships Ooh, what's all this oh they destroyed the station there that's why this stuff's here i think there used to be a station around here but no more i'm having a hard time getting remote detonators that's why i haven't just stolen a lot of blueprints yet they're just not dropping for me 
The Xenon did attempt an incursion on Argon Prime. They built a defense platform, but they were defeated. I expect more incursions to come, so we're going to have to start getting prepared for that eventuality. On my personal front, I did buy a Cerberus, as you saw from a recent video. That's been pretty fun. That should help me compete a little better in, in some of these battles and contribute more. Once hull parts are complete, I am likely going to start looking at building a little defense force in Argon Prime. I need to get a little fleet ready, and eventually I'm going to have to deal with those K's and I's that come through the gate. Those, uh, this is my my main base of operations right now. As you can see, most of my ships are, are around here. I am starting to expand south. So in the HOP territory, I am starting trade operations. Because if we lose Argon Prime, the HOP are going to be the best bet for surviving and eventually retaking the Argon territories. I did go out and uh, map the SCA bases because I, I, I would like to do their missions to get access to their goods because then I can buy some remote detonators from them. But I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> or maybe I'll just take over. Maybe I can just take over the cove. I need to explore the inner system still. I am starting to think about going towards <clears throat> claiming my own sector. However, I am torn between that and, and staying in Argon Prime and defending. We'll see what happens. As long as I have enough imp enough like mining ships and drill ship and miners and trading ships, I should be able to recover if Argon Prime is lost. That would suck though. You know, it'd be cool if I went in and uh, retook Victor's Choice. That's always a possibility. And maybe claimed it for myself. As you can see, it's red now. So this is a Xenon sector. And retaking it would be a pretty cool goal. So we'll have to see what happens. In an earlier video, I went ahead and uh, set up a blacklist so my ships don't come this way. The AI isn't the best at knowing that this is a bad sector yet. Like, what is this guy doing? What's he building here and why? This freighter is trying to get away. The Magnetar. They might just do it. I'm being chased by a number of ships. So overall, it's a pretty fun game. Um, I'll probably post the Game Start mod soon. I don't think I want to make too many other changes to it. It's it's a pretty fun Game Start it provides some interesting challenges. Of course, you can never guarantee if the Xenon are going to be successful or not. It varies game to game. So, that's one of the things I like about the game, though. Every game, Each gameplay is different. Alright, that about covers it for this status update. Thanks for watching.